Okay, I'm going to quickly finish up box four. I'm not doing those, as you recall. I'm doing those are the ones that are either on my thread already or I have multiple copies of. Um, I'm going to start with just the posters I have. This will be the last one for box four. Um, this will be the last video for a while, too, because my mom is coming to visit for about a month because she has some rental properties here. Two of them are vacant, and she needs to get those rented out, and then... She's also going to take the Shakarama, which it was uh, it's one of her rentals as well. She has a rental house, and that's like a mother-in-law unit behind it. And she's going to get that ready to rent out to people. Uh, she's going to put air conditioning and heating, which I didn't have uh, for the five years I lived there. And she's also going to put a washer and dryer in, which would have been nice, but whatever. I can't complain too much. Anyway, so here's the posters for now. So she's going to be here for a month, so I'm not going to do any more boxes until after she goes in, in late December, or November. Anyway, so here's the posters for today. And um, this is Somebody Killed Her Husband. This is Farrah's movie after she left Charlie's Angels. It was a flop. But, of course, I love my Farrah, so i got to get her posters. And then the 80s slasher flick, He Knows You're Alone, wasn't a big hit. People kind of forgot about it already. It's about a slasher who, for some reason, stalks young brides to be. Um, and then we have some silly comedy I never saw, but it kept coming to the drive-in over and over and over again. Dirty Tricks with Elliot Gould, Kate Jackson, and Rich Little. There's a lot of trash in this pile, and there's also a lot of treasures. Here's some trash. Can't Stop the Music, the Village People movie with Valerie Perrine and Caitlyn Jenner before she was Caitlyn Jenner. Um, oh, and Steve Gutenberg is in it, too. Yeah, I forgot. This movie is actually pretty darn bad. It's so bad, it's funny bad. Summer School. I have no idea what this was. At first, I thought it was the movie that I'm familiar with called Summer School that stars Mark Harmon as the teacher. This is not that movie. This is something else. Never saw this one. I don't know why I have it or how I got it. But it's the movie your parents will hate. <clears throat> and then another 80s slasher movie. This is Pranks. I think it's supposed to be a horror comedy. And I think it was... <coughs> Excuse me. Dang it. Um, this was retitled... I believe, uh, The Dorm That Drip Blood and uh, is better known as that under that title. Let's see. Who did directed by Jeffrey Osbro? Okay, the reason I'm looking is because you'll see in a minute. And then Frightmare. And then before Airplane, there was a disaster movie spoof called the big bus, about a big atomic-powered bus that went super-powered and had all these different things on it. It was supposed to be a comedy. I, I saw it once years ago. I, I wasn't that impressed with it. I, I need to see it again, I think. But, um... I don't know. Never mind. And then, I don't know how I have this or why I have this. This needs to go. The Class of Miss Miss Michael. Whatever. Not my kind of poster. Uh, and then I apparently have, this must have been in a set, I have Samson and the Slave Queen, it's a, what do you call these things, uh, an insert, I don't have many inserts, which is why I forget, and then I have a half sheet for Samson and the Slave Queen, and then I have the one sheet for Samson and the Slave Queen, as I said, this must have been a set because they were all together in the box and this is one of those Hercules type well it's not Hercules it's Samson but it's a Hercules type movie sword and sandal peplum whatever I don't think it looks very it doesn't look very like there's much magical or dinosaurs or monsters in it or whatever but oh well and then I think I showed this once before. I have another one of these. I, I came across another one. I wanted to see the condition of it, which is why I unfolded it. This is in great condition. So I don't have to bid on the one on eMovie coming up. Yay. Um, Flight 90, Disaster on the Potomac. This was a true thing. I remember when this happened. I think it was in the 80s. I don't remember when exactly it happened. But this plane crashed. It was taking off from Washington. And it crashed 
into a bridge and cla collapsed into a icy water and oh I, I can't even imagine I never saw the movie but they released it internationally at the theater it was a TV movie and I've kind of always wanted to see it but I've always kind of not wanted to see it at the same time because it's just oh, it just sounds horrible um, Valentino a biopic by um, Ken Russell about Valentino and then the disco era thank god it's Friday never saw that either I, have, I heard it was really awful but that kept coming back too all the time <coughs> okay it's Las Vegas Hillbilly starring Ferlin Husky I don't know whoever that is Jane Mansfield there she is and special guest star Mamie Van Doren there she is um Jane is hardly in this movie. I don't know why she gets second billing. Mamie's in it far more than Jane. Uh, they have a scene together, but there's no shot of them together, which is really odd. And, and uh, I, Mamie Van Dorn told a friend of mine who asked for me why there was no shot of them together. And apparently Jane had just had a baby, and she, she didn't want any shots of her stomach. I guess she was still kind of heavy at the time from the baby. So that's why they never had a shot together in the same shot together in the movie, which I thought it was they were having a feud or something, and they just did their scene separately. But no, 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 they were actually in the scene together. Um, here is Ruby. This is the movie Piper Laurie did right after Carrie, about a lady who has a drive-in, and I can't remember it very well. Um, it was kind of a weird movie. I don't think I liked it that much, but you know, I had to get it. Um, Body Heat. There's another copy in that pile. I don't know why I have two copies of it, but I have, I, I do that all the time. I buy things the same thing over and over, not realizing I have it already, I think. That was a good little movie. Here's The Dorm That Drip Blood, which I think is a retitling of Pranks. Where's the director? Director. Uh, oh, yes, direct. Yes, it's, I, it is it is Pranks. It's the same people. So, yeah, this is better known as The Dorm That Drip Blood, but this is also Pranks. Which I've never seen, actually. <clears throat> I need to track that down. I thought I saw all my 80s slashers, but I haven't seen that one. Something called Hunters of the Deep. No idea. 1955. No idea why I have this poster. Uh, Demon Seed. This is about the home computer thing that kind of like runs the household that decides it wants a baby and so it makes one with Julie Christie <coughs> pretty weird <coughs> and then something called the long ships I don't know how I got this this I don't need this this is not my type of thing something called twice dead Nice copy of the poster. It's like almost new, but I don't know this movie. Uh, the Werner Herzog movie, Fitzcarraldo. Never saw that either. With Klaus Kinski. And then The Mermaids of Tiburon. The Mermaids of Tiburon is in Aquascope and Eastman Color. Wow. Unidentified Flying Oddball. Some Disney movie. Why do I have this? I don't know. Then The Wonderful World of Brothers Grimm. Another poster. Why do I have this? I don't know. And then, this is Ferris' third movie post Charlie's Angels, Saturn 3. It's kind of an alien ripoff, but instead of an alien, we had this killer robot that had the hots for Vera Fawcett.
And then I have this little, I don't know what this is. It's like, it's like a little poster, but it's not really a poster for Hobo, Hobo with a Shotgun. And then I have uh, Great White, the fact sheet. I think this was like style, and they had the advance and they had the regular, I think this is a style B or something. It doesn't say on the poster, but it's the fact sheet for Great White. And I have another one in that pile over there. So there was two in the same pile. Um, and then this is the re-release of Dr. No with From Russia With Love Together. It's double the danger, double the women, double the excitement with double 007. Dun, dun, dun. And then, of course, I have The Final Conflict. This is The Omen 3. I have several copies of this, but I don't think I've ever showed one in any of my... on my thread or in any of my videos, so... Here it is. The one copy I'll show, but I have several copies. I know I do. Uh, the Westworld. I hope I have a better copy of this one, because this is not the best shape. It looks like it's fine, and then you get down to the bottom, and you see... I guess the bottom was folded over, and it's... All nice and white, and then up here you can see where it's yellow. I get had a frame around it or something, so it's kind of yellowed. It's not bad shape, and I'll take it, but I hope I have a better one someplace. And then some crap called Night Child. <coughs> it's a wannabe. I think it's a wannabe Exorcist ripoff. Possessed into the darkness, darkest kind of evil. Beyond the door of madness lies Nightshot. And you got the upside down cross. Richard Johnson was in Beyond the Door, as well as, you know, Zombie, but. And The Haunting. Um, but I think it's an Exorcist ripoff. I think I've seen it, and I don't think it was that impressive. Um, something called The Night God Screamed. Scream so they'll know where to find your body. <laughs> Something called Crash. Get Smart movie, The Nude Bomb, which was pretty awful and didn't have anybody from the show. It didn't have uh, the chief, who I think was dead by then. 99 is not in this movie. Instead, they have Sylvia Cristal the uh, Emmanuel woman, actress. I wanted 99 instead. Anyway, <coughs> another copy of Rottweiler in 3D. This is a Earl Owensby 3D movie. But it's got this stupid snipe on it with an alternate title, Dogs of Hell. Crap, I hate that. <coughs> and then a re-release from 74, The Absent-Minded Professor. Then, a re-release of Son of Flubber, also from 1974, which is the sequel to Absent-Minded Professor. And then, the sequel that no one remembers, because it was so un unneeded and so didn't have any of the same cast. It's The Sting 2, which is why I have the poster, because it's like, what the hell? So I have The Sting 2. I never saw the movie, but um, got the poster because somebody needs to have it. <laughs> <coughs> Fiddler on the Roof? Why the heck do I have this movie poster? I don't know. And then Angie Dickinson, William Shatner, and Tom Skerritt in... Big Bad Mama. And then, Steve Martin in The Jerk. And then, The Company of Wolves. A cool poster. I need to track this movie down again. I don't remember it that well. And it was kind of like a Little Red Riding Hood, but it was like werewolfy and not quite Little Red Riding Hood. 
Okay, and then the mark of the devil, and this is the one, uh, due to the horrifying scenes, no one admitted without a vomit bag, available free at the box office, but at all ages admitted, parental escorts encouraged, so not positively the most horrifying film ever made and guaranteed to upset your stomach if it's like a PG movie, cheapers, but notorious nonetheless. And I have some of those vomit bags someplace. Yay. And the last one is Rosemary's Baby. Classic, classic, classic. So, okay. And it's a William Castle movie, if you didn't know that. Uh, he produced it. He didn't direct it. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, that's it for now. <coughs> that's the end of box four. I'll talk to you. I'll do one of these again in like a month or so. Okay, bye.